Were you hungry? Oh yes, I was. I'm. I'm mean like. Uh, I was. I was hungry, but it was mainly for my friends because I was staying with my friends off and on. I was. I was going back and forth to my mom's house and there, but I live with my mom currently. I'm not. I mean, and um, so. You just wanted the, pozole. Did you think the cops were gonna show up? I didn't even think. I didn't think nothing of it, really. I mean. And uh, I didn't even think it could even be a charge. You know I mean? I, residential burglary, that sounds, and that looks bad for my record. I'm glad it got dismissed. So and, are, are you working now? Are you able to find employment after this incident? Um, being in, I've been in, in jail. Basically, they booked me and released me uh, within 24 hours. And by the time I hit the street, I was ready in the newspaper. I was ready airing for, and when I went to, I went to Ada Las Cuetes the next day after I got released, and Are, the manager treated me like, like as if I was a thief. He put me in the back of the restaurant, they didn't give us good service, me and my cousin. And I was still wearing the same shirt that they showed me in my, in my mug shop. And so I, I was like, oh, no wonder why that he's treating us like this, me and my, I told my cousin. I'm still wearing the same shirt that they, because he showed me on the newspaper that I was. How are you and your mom doing? Have you made up since then? Oh, we made up. Uh, as soon as I got, my mom was putting money in my books while I was, while I was in jail, because I got booked and released, and then I got indicted in, in July, they indicted me after like six, seven months, and then I didn't get notified that I got indicted, because I was using different mailing addresses, which is my mistake. Af but, after all this, do you feel like you should make your mom some pozole? Oh, I, I cook for my mom in the morning. I cook my mom. I make I make good food. I'm a good I'm a good uh, cook. My mom loves my tacos I make. She loves because I take my time on cooking all the meats and. Do you but, do you feel bad about what happened two years ago? Um, I feel them, not embarrassed, but I I feel like it was a big misunderstanding, and even the judge released. That's where the judge released my own reconnaissance because he said it's a family matter. I don't even know why it's in my in my courtroom, so I released her in my own reconnaissance, but it got indicted. And then when I got indicted, I got picked up in August for that warrant, not knowing it. And then I stayed from August to September. And in that meantime, from August to September, my mom was putting money in my books. Are Still. you gonna make a, make this up to your mom? Oh yeah, I, oh, I love my mom. I love you, mom. I love my mom always. What are you gonna and do for your mom today? Today, I'm gonna go give her a big hug, tell her I love you, thank you for helping me out while I was in jail. This time too, I was. this is what I got in jail for. This time, I just barely got out just yesterday. And I, I was supposed to be in there. It was set for a jury trial in October. I wasn't supposed to go to court till October for jury trial. But they saw they had no case either way, so they so they, they dismissed it. It's with prejudice, did, but... Did they say um, why it was dismissed? Did the judge say why he dismissed um, it? No wit no witness, which is my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom said that she was she, she's not going to go to... Because she didn't even push the charges. In the police report, it says that Ms. Bassani didn't push charge that she said no. But the news stated that, which is why I feel like, why do they even, who, who, how did they find this out and why did they put me on blast and made me seem like everywhere I went, it made me seem like I'm a thief. And I love my mom too. I would never, I don't even, you can ask my mom, I don't cuss at her. I never even call her a B word or nothing. I don't even cuss in front of my mom. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's take a step back. I mean, nobody knows what happened that day except for you and your mom. So. Me, my mom and God and um, hopefully, uh, I mean, Mother's Day is coming up. What are you gonna do for her? Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it, I, uh, I'm gonna do something special. I don't know what. Yeah, hopefully get a job because being in and out, I, I, I got when I got released September, I didn't go to honestly. I didn't report a free trial because I'm not gonna go to free trial for something I didn't even do. And does so, she like flowers? Oh, she loves flowers. I made I once made her a, a glass boot, a glass boot. Like and I filled. I went, plucked every flower from from uh, different different bushes and everything, and made a name a nice, like custom made up the rocks in the bottom, bunch of flowers. And I had a broken arm and a broken arm on this side. And, and she she got a picture of me holding that flower for Mother's Day. I just did it out of the blue. Can you, are you gonna do something like that again? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever she wants me to do that day. Is mm -hmm. and whatever she wants me to do is. Uh, it's always good. My mom, my mom has a big heart. My mom takes care of me, and my little brother, and my sister. And she's a single working woman as a waitress, and she's she got a nice house. Yeah, I mean, y'all seen the house on the news? It's up there in the Heights, and that's a lot of money. I mean, me, I was working in the kitchen, and I, I don't know how she could stand on her feet for eight, I mean, nine, ten, ten, twelve hours a day. And I give my mom a massage, foot massages sometimes. I mean, when have, she asks, I mean. Have you um, learned from this experience, the pozole? Uh, I learned, uh, uh, I learned to be on time whenever my mom's bringing me some food or 
helping me out with something. When mom says, when mom says, mom, it goes, man. That's what I learned. 